average and instantaneous acceleration. The average acceleration is defined as the change in velocity divided by the time taken to make the change. Thus, the average acceleration is given as average acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. And the change in velocity is basically v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1. Where, if you remember, v1 is the initial velocity, v2 is the final velocity, t1 and t2 are the initial and the final time. If we simplify further, we will write a average is equal to delta v over delta t, where delta v is the change in velocity and delta t is change in time. And this is the average acceleration. The instantaneous acceleration of a body is given as vector a is equal to limit delta t tends to zero delta v over delta t. And if we take the limit, this delta v over delta t will be changed into dv over dt. So the acceleration, which is basically the instantaneous acceleration, is equal to dv over dt. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider the velocity of the body v is equal to vxi plus vyj plus vzk. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the velocity over here. So basically what we need to do, we need to differentiate the velocity with respect to time because instantaneous acceleration is basically differentiation of velocity with respect to time. And if we do that, we will write a is equal to dv over dt inside the bracket vxi plus vyj plus vzk. Now let's distribute d by dt inside the bracket and if we do that we will write a is equal to d by dt of vxi plus d by dt of vyj plus d by dt of vzk. Now let's differentiate and if we do that we will write instantaneous acceleration is equal to dvx over dt i plus dvy over dtj plus dvz over dt k. Now, if we simplify further, we will write acceleration a is equal to axi plus ayj plus azk, where ax is dvx over dt, which is over here, ay is dvy over dt, which is over here, and az is dvz over dt, which is over here. And these are basically the i, j, and k component of acceleration, which is basically the part of instantaneous acceleration.